So I want to show y'all something that I'm excited about that I worked hard on. See if I can make this work. Yeah. You know, air conditioning is gonna be a problem because this house is entirely off grid. So no electric lines coming from any electric company. It's gonna be solar power only. And believe it or not, as hot as it is in South Alabama, it's not the best place for solar power. So we've had to do some things to try to help ourselves to get where we wanna be. One of the things we did was built our own very crude geothermal air conditioner. Hello, hello, hello. Now, if you were here with me, right now you'd feel a cool draft coming straight up out of that pipe. It's noticeably cooler than the air around us. Hello, thank you for the cold air. You're welcome. <laughs> Just imagine if you will, running under the ground right here, out a little more than 50 feet to that pipe is a series of pipe that goes back and forth. It actually runs three times. One, two, three. Under the ground, it's all connected. It's over 160 feet of pipe, all connected. It turns and comes back and forth. And that air travels all that way under the ground to get to the house. That blue bucket's over the end of the pipe just to keep the rain and the critters out. That, my friends, is called geothermal air conditioning. So the air is drawn in this pipe right here. In the summertime, let's say right now it's about 82 degrees, that air goes in there. And it comes in underground, makes all those loops, travels all 160 feet. Comes all that way to right here. I wish I had a thermometer, I'd put it on there and we'd see how cold it is. But I'm guessing, I bet it's 72 degrees coming out of that hole right there. Nice and cool. In the final construction, this pipe gets cut off under the floor. I build a box and there'll be a floor grate right here with a fan in it. That fan will draw the air through the pipe. And so it will intentionally just suck air from that end of the pipe all the way through to here. That fan will use very little electricity. And that way we help offset the cooling demands by bringing in cold, cooler air with a very low wattage fan and almost no electrical demand whatsoever. Pretty neat. And as somebody told me today, it's funny how we think God doesn't provide for our needs. But here he is just with the geothermal cooling of the, of the ground, giving us a way to have cool air in a really simple mechanism.